Hey guys, I'm gonna make some freezer slaw today, so I hope you stay with me and enjoy the video, and I hope you try it. It's really good. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, today I'm gonna make some freezer slaw, and um, it calls for a medium head of cabbage, but I got a partial head of cabbage and three small heads, so I'm gonna cut that up and kind of see how much we end up with, but first I'm gonna shred up my cabbage, and then I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. And we just want to shred it into small strips. You can put it in the, actually what I did last time, I put in the food processor and just cut up. But you can do it ever how you want to. Grate it. But you kind of want it there, and then I'm just going to go through it again. You just want to kind of make it, you know, smaller pieces that are easy to eat when you do get it out of the freezer and thaw it out. So that's kind of what I'm going for right there. So when I get all of that done, I'll bring you back. Here's all the cabbage cut up. Now we're gonna do two carrots. I'm gonna shred them. So I'm gonna peel them real quick. I'll give these peelings to the chickens later. Give them a snack that'll make them happy. Okay, we'll push that out of our way. Alright, get my grater. And then we're just gonna grate our it up like that and actually I'm going to use the one that's a little smaller I'm going to a little bit smaller than that and I'm going to keep doing that till I get them both grated up and I'll bring you back okay we have the carrot shredded now we're going to work on cutting up our green pepper The little pithy part off the seeds out, and then I'm gonna slice this really thin because I don't want big chunks, I want all this to be kind of small. And then we're just gonna go back through. Alright, we're just going to keep cutting till we get that up, and then I have two little red ones I'm going to cut up to go with it for more color. Now I'm going to sprinkle a tablespoon 
over the veggies. The recipe actually calls for just the cabbage, but I want to pull the extra water. I'm just going to be about a tablespoon and a half because I had a little more cabbage. Um, and we're just going to work that in. And then we're going to let it sit for an hour to pull some of the water out. And after an hour, I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, we're going to do the brine for our freezer slaw. So we need one cup of vinegar. So I got a half a cup, so we're going to do two of those. And I'm doing apple cider. I prefer that to white vinegar, depending on what I'm making. We need a fourth a cup of water. We need one and a half cups of sugar. A teaspoon of mustard seed and a teaspoon of celery seeds. There's our mustard. And there's our celery seeds. And I'll bring you back when I get over to the stove and get it heated up. Okay, I squeezed the water out of all the slaw. I had about a cup of liquid left. I'll show you that in just a second. And I'm just put it into the hot brine. And I'm just putting it in here for about a minute or two just to get everything heated up and covered with the liquid. And then I'm gonna let it cool off. And then we'll put it in our little Ziploc bags, or you can use any other freezer stable container and put it in the freezer. So, as soon as I get to that time limit, I'll bring you back and we'll do the next step. And this is what the liquid look like. It's probably between a cup and three fourths a cup, I guess, in the bottom of my wash pan. Okay, well, it's been about two minutes, so I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to put it in my wash pan to let it cool down. And I forgot to tell you, I added about a half of an onion, sliced really, really thin, into this, too. And we're just going to pour this in our wash pan, dish pan, whatever you want to call it. I'll let it out. We don't want to waste any. bring you back when I get it all out of the container. I'm just going to spread it out so the heat can disperse and the steam and it'll, once it cools off, we'll put it in our little Ziploc bags. It smells really good. Alright guys, I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. Okay, it's cooled off. You see we've got the brine all in here. It looks really pretty. And I thought as I was finishing up while ago, I may do some more 
later on and add a jalapeno to it just to give it a little kick to it. So I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna put them in Ziploc bags. But we're gonna do, I'm using a half a cup. And I'm gonna do a cup to a bag. So that'll be a pretty good serving size for what I use it for. So I just kind of shake it down into the bag, the lower part. And um, then what I, I just roll it up to get the air out best I can and then seal it off. And then once I get them all done, we'll come back and we'll write what it is and today's date on it. And then we'll put them in the freezer. So I'll show you one more time. A little. This is really good on a hot day. You want something refreshing and um, to open it up, put it in the refrigerator, let it thaw out. It's just really good. Good and twangy and sweet. So again, get in the lower part of the bag. Kind of push it down a little bit. Roll it up. And then just seal it off. Alright, I'm going to finish these out, guys, and I'll bring you back. I end up with six bags. So I'm going to put these in another bag if I can get them all in there just to give them a little more protection in the freezer. Let's see how many I can get in one bag. and another bag just to give them a little more protection to keep them from free getting freezer burn And sometimes this winter or later on when I want some good, fresh summer food, we'll pull some of this out. Guys, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.